Alexa Santos here with News 12. Since eating outside is such an important part of restaurant dining in the current situation, many places are working hard and getting creative to make the outdoor dining experience as enjoyable as possible. Doesn't eating sushi on a rooftop vineyard surrounded by gorgeous city views sound like a dream come true? The Rosella pop-up dinner series at Rooftop Reds is making that magic happen for the rest of the month and likely into September. I thought that you know, teaming up and taking advantage of that beautiful outdoor space at a time when outdoor space is so valuable was, was really a good idea. Rosella is a sushi-focused restaurant that will be opening this fall in the East Village. They've got a strong focus on sustainability and waste-limiting practices. You know, all the, the stuff we're using is either local or by a company that might not be local Locally, but that we really support. COVID threw the team's opening plans for a loop, which brought them to the idea of popping up at Rooftop Reds. Rooftop Reds is a rooftop vineyard at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. That's really exciting for me to get that going up on the rooftop. The pop-up dinners are on Saturdays and Sundays. They feature elaborate 15-course sushi tasting menus and local wine, beer, and sake. Other than the setting being beautiful, it's ideal for social distancing. You're safe. You're not on top of one another. You don't need a bubble, and you're outdoors with air flowing. For restaurant venues that don't have the luxury of a ton of space on their hands, Outdoor dining meant time to get creative with city streets. All of a sudden, we were on the street, uh, on the sidewalk, and we had to put a dining room just on the street of New York. For the team at Lebanese restaurant Balade in Manhattan, that meant quickly getting their hands on a large tent, trees, fake grass, and plexiglass to use in between tables. We're very excited about it. People are liking it and enjoying it. To kick their outdoor dining vibe up a notch, they're using interactive table side experiences. There are fan favorite dishes like the Mixed Grill Supreme. It's a huge platter of warm dough opened up table side to reveal a variety of grilled meats. We engage the diners, you know, to interact more with the food. It's so good because the bread, all these juices from all the meats are on that bread, so they can use that bread to eat that meat and it's, people are loving it, and it's been uh, so much fun. Balade is also using outdoor dining to give back to a cause close to their hearts. Many team members at Balade have friends and loved ones injured and impacted by the recent explosion in Beirut. They created a special drink called Beirut Hope, which is perfectly refreshing for dining outside during the summer. It's sparkling wine with rose water and strawberries, and all proceeds from the drink will be donated to Beirut relief funds. My heart is with the Lebanese people, with my family, my friends. We're trying our best, and this is just the beginning of what we're doing. We're going to do much, much more. Another spot making the most of its outdoor space is Strange Ways, a brand new garden restaurant in Williamsburg. They were planning on opening months ago in a different space when COVID caused them to shift gears. I just feel like people want more green spaces and we've created that. They now have a space perfectly suited for beautiful and safe outdoor seating in an urban environment. The luscious greenery accompanies a menu of eclectic dishes and a robust drink program, with plenty of frozen options, of course. The Strange Ways team is hoping to make a name for themselves in this strange and difficult time. Our intent is to be in the neighborhood for many years to come. There are countless ways to safely enjoy dining outside at restaurants in the tri-state for the time being, and restaurants are constantly working to up their game for those who want to come partake. Alexis Santos, News 12.